have a seat. Good morning. I am Monica Manzur, Galen University's Student Services Officer. It is my honor to be the Director of Ceremonies for today's historical event. Today, we participate in Galen's first virtual ceremony. In compliance with the protocols provided by the Ministry of Health and Wellness, we have limited our academic procession according to the guidelines. Our students will be honored via our live stream on our Facebook page and Love TV. This morning, we gather for Galen's 17th commencement exercises, where we celebrate our soaring eagles. Together, we will witness the achievement of our eagles as they complete another milestone in their lives. They will proudly continue to contribute to their communities and the larger Belizean society. Join us in commemorating this special historical event. A special welcome to the chairman of the Galen Board of Trustees, Dr. René Villanueva Sr., chairman of the Board of Directors, Mr. Costas Karinikis, and other members of the Board of Trustees and Board of Directors. The Honorable John Brisenio, Prime Minister of Belize, and the Honorable Patrick Faber, Leader of the Opposition, His Worship Earl Trapp, Jr., Mayor of San Ignacio and Santa Elena. Our guest speaker, Honorable Madam Justice Lisa Schoman, Justice of the Supreme Court, Honorable Francis Fonseca, Minister of Education, Honorable Orlando Habet, Minister of Sustainable Development, Climate Change and Disaster Risk Management, Honorable Michelle Shabat, Minister of Health and Wellness, Honorable Alex Balona, and other members of the House of Representatives. Mrs. Diane Mejia, Chief Executive Officer, Ministry of Education, Dr. Osman Martinez, CEO, Ministry of the Public Service, Constitutional and Political Reform, Dr. Kenrick Williams, CEO, Ministry of Sustainable Development, Climate Change and Disaster Risk Management, and other members of government. His Excellency Li Ku Chen, Ambassador of the Republic of China, Taiwan, and other members of the Diplomatic Corps. Members of the Belize Association of Principals of Secondary Schools and members of the Association of Tertiary Level Institutions of Belize. Our special awardee, Don Hector Silva, faculty, staff, students, and all other stakeholders of Galen University, and most importantly, you, the graduates, your parents, spouses, children, and significant others. Without further ado, I ask you to please rise as we begin today's ceremony with the national anthem. Kindly remain standing for the invocation immediately after the anthem.
I call upon the provost, Dr. Eve Aird, to deliver the invocation. Lord God, our almighty Father, we come before you today in thanksgiving that we are able to come together in this time and place to honor these 132 graduates who have achieved their diplomas and degrees today and to honor Don Hector Silva who has given a life of service to this beautiful country of ours and to your church. We thank you for their lives and for their families who have supported them. We, I thank you, I thank you for the lives of our faculty and staff who have worked with our graduates, who have supported them on their journey to this important milestone in their professional development. We thank you for the lives of the members of both our board of directors and the board of trustees who are committed to the development of our beloved university and who work arduously to assure its success. We ask you to bless the, the futures of our graduates that they commit their lives to the service of their communities and Belize and to you. We pray for your protection and mercy over our beloved country that it may be healed of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for your protection and mercy over all our frontline workers and that all Belizeans may work with the government of Belize to abide by the regulations set forth so that together we may win this battle against the COVID-19 virus. Thank you. You may now be seated. We are all inspired by academic performances that reach above the norm, for such stories always motivate us to reach higher and to do more. I introduce to you Ms. Joanne Cantun, who today will be conferred with the master's degree in business administration to officially welcome you to Galen's 2020 commencement exercises. Protocol having been established, a pleasant good morning to all. I must first and foremost express how honored I am to be the salutatorian for the class of 2020. Welcome graduating class of 2020 to the 17th commencement exercise ceremony. I'm sure that you had imagined this incredibly momentous occasion for quite some time, but we must admit that it is far different than any of us could have predicted due to the current COVID-19 realities. Life milestones such as the one today are worth celebrating regardless of the pandemic. We are the first class in the history of Galen University to have a virtual graduation. And today is a celebration of the future that awaits us all. The journey that brought me to where I stand today began in 2017 when I contested for the Mrs. Steria Moore Belize pageant. Winning this pageant not only gave me the opportunity to hold the Mrs. Steria Moore Belize title, but also allowed me to be a scholarship recipient to pursue a master's degree in business administration. Even though both accomplishments were a thrill, none of them were, quote unquote, a walk in the park. I have endured my fair share of hard work, sacrifices, discipline, and dedication that today converts into success. So now, here I am, closing this chapter in my life and adding one more achievement to my academic goals. I leave with three powerful words that my journey and this current COVID-19 reality taught me. Determination, resilience, and humility. Having a vision is just not enough. You must also be determined to make the sacrifices, remain focused, and disallow anything or anyone to disrupt your path to success. Certainly, 
There will be many challenges, but do not allow failures to deter your efforts of achieving your goals and learn from them. Be resilient. Life is about the choices we make. We can either choose to fail or choose to succeed. As you go accomplishing your life goals, always remember to remain humble. It does not matter how successful or educated you become in life. Without humility, those achievements are less valuable to you as a holistically accomplished individual. Humility is the true essence of real success. I must fervently emphasize that I did not accomplish this on my own. I thank God for strength and guidance. To my parents, family, and friends, thank you for your unconditional support. I also thank my cohort for being an incredible team. We finally made it. Thank you, Galen University, especially our lecturers, for enlightening us with knowledge and for giving us the confidence to grow in this nation. It is now our responsibility, as true eagles that we are, to use our Galen University education to improve ourselves, to serve our communities and the future generations. It is in the face of hardship that we must look internally, innovate, develop our strengths, and gain the vision that will help us to lead courageously. So when struggles emerge, we must remind ourselves we are Galen Eagles, powerful, determined, resilient, hopeful, and limitless in nature. I once again wish to reiterate a heartfelt welcome to everyone to this first of its kind virtual commencement exercise. Thank you, Joanne, for those inspiring words spoken like a true eagle. I now invite to the podium our chairman of the Board of Trustees, Dr. René Villanueva Sr. for his remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of our Board of Trustees. for the adjustment, William. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, Don Hector. Morning, Provost. Morning, deans of faculties. Morning, Doc. Good morning. And it's an honor and a privilege for me to welcome you to the 18 commencement exercises of our great Galen University. On behalf of the Board of Directors and the Board of Trustees, also our faculty and staff, led by our outstanding provost, Dr. Cynthia Eve Aird, thank you so much for joining us today. I greet all this morning, but especially, and protocol has been established, so I greet all this morning, but especially I greet our graduates who are the stars of today's show. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought about so many changes in our lives and the way we do things. And even though you are not here physically at this time, I know many of you are wearing your hats and gongs in your homes as you tune in. This is your day. So celebrate it with your family at home. And yes, make some noise. Wherever you are right now, this is your day. Give yourselves the loudest round of applause because despite all the challenges of 2020, you reached your goal. Embrace the feeling of pride in your accomplishment, but please remember as you celebrate to adhere to all the protocols in place to combat COVID-19. We want to greet Don Hector Silva, very specially today. Don Hector, as you know, is an outstanding Belizean 
who has served his country well. And today, Don Hector is being presented an honorary doctoral degree from our university. Thank you for accepting Don Hector, and thank you so much for being here on behalf of the Board of Directors and the Board of Trustees. I must say that under normal circumstances, I would have had the honor of seeing the smiling faces of all our graduates grouped together, witness the excitement of lining up for the procession, see the family and friends, and yes, enjoy the pomp and circumstance of this joyous occasion. But for all of us, the year 2020 has been turbulent, filled with many disruptions and uncertainties, forcing us to adapt quickly. I am proud to say that your university, Galen, rose to the occasion. Our outstanding provosts, deans, and faculty made sure that you, our graduates, did not miss out on anything by using the appropriate technology that ensured a very successful year for our university. Together, we faced the challenges head on, and today, our commitment to excellence remains unwavering and has once again been proven. Our achievements this year will be outlined a little later on by our Provost, Dr. Cynthia Eve Aird. However, I would like to dwell a bit on our university's commitment to excellence in all we do. Many years ago, when at the age of 33, I was appointed Chief Broadcasting Officer in charge of the only broadcasting services in the country of Belize, at the time, Radio Belize, I adopted two very popular sayings and had them displayed in my office prominently. One by Oliver Goldsmith said, success consists of getting up one more time than you fall. The other was a quote on excellence by Vince Lombardi, Jr. that says, excellence, yes, excellence can be attained if you care more than others think is wise, risk more than others think is safe, dream more than others think is practical, expect more than others think is possible. I'd like to repeat that for you. Excellence can be attained if you care more than others think is wise, risk more than others think is safe, dream more than others think is practical, expect more than others think is possible. I have applied that formula and I could tell you it works. Excellence in all we do leads to success in our lives. Our university is firmly set on a path of continued excellence in all it does. We care more than others think is wise. We are here to build Belize by building you and instilling the excellence that will lead to successful lives, thereby building a successful nation. We care about you, our nation, and ourselves. We risk more than others think is safe, and this has also led to the stability and success that we are witnessing today despite the trying circumstances. We dream, yes, we dream more than others think is practical. We at Galen dream of our new modern university city that will one day be the shining light, the center from which will emanate Belizeans and foreign students equipped with the tools to build their own lives and the lives of their fellow men, women, and country. That's our dream. Dear graduates, the quest for excellence leads to us expecting more than others think is possible. Everything is possible in life. The formula here is a simple one. It all starts with seeing and latching onto the dream, the big goal in life. When we have established our goals as an individual, as a university, as a country, and we firmly see, 
feel, believe, taste, and smell where we are going, when we start moving towards it, it will bring out the excellence within us and place our feet on a path to success. Yes, sweet success. And yes, achieving excellence leads to success and will ensure that you learn from your falls, that you get up, and that you continue along the path of excellence. So again, excellence can be attained if you care more than others think is wise, risk more than others think is safe, dream more than others think is practical, and expect more than others think is possible. We at Galen will continue on the road to becoming that shining light in our nation through you. We salute all our past graduates of this university, our graduates today, and our future graduates who will join and become proud members of the Galen family, displaying excellence in all they do. I was so impressed by Mr. Stereo Amor, Ms. Joanne Cantun. Joanne, very good. Well, well done. And let's give all our graduates a round of applause. We are proud of all of you. Despite the falls and setbacks, difficulties, sad moments and instances in 2020 that brought tears to our eyes and made us understand how frail we really are, we remain thankful to God and pray that he blesses, protects, and cures our country and places us on the path of excellence that leads to success and a better life for all. May we, as a united people, dedicated ourselves towards building the better Belize that will emerge from the darkness of COVID-19. Yes, we will rise and we will succeed despite the obstacles because success consists of getting up one more time than you fall. Once again, congratulations, graduates. Thank you for the confidence placed in Galen University. My mother, Reverend Helen Elliot Villanueva, passed away 11 years ago. And throughout her life, she would recite to us a poem on life she learned as a little girl. A poem I now wish to share with you as you go about in pursuit of your dreams. It's keep silent, keep sweet, keep stepping. A very simple poem. The three S's. There are three simple words that begin with an S. They are wise with a wisdom the world cannot guess. But those who employ them, their beauty confess. Keep silent. Keep sweet. Keep stepping. Keep silent when rumor against you is stirred. When friendship is heard, is hurt like a broken winged bird. When clamors the heart for a right to be heard. Keep silent. Keep sweet. Keep stepping. Keep sweet when provoked by some petty affair, when those whom you love your loyalty wear, when the milk of your spirit is curdled with care, keep silent, keep sweet, keep stepping. Keep stepping when other folks hinder your way, when weary and worried you finish the day. Too foot sore to walk and too breathless to pray, keep silent, keep sweet, keep stepping. Keep silent and spare yourself needless regret. Keep sweet and the whole world will be in your debt. Keep stepping with Jesus, the truest friend yet. Keep silent, keep sweet, and keep stepping. Best wishes, graduates, and all the, like I said, all the best to everyone tuned in. Thank you for doing so. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you, Chairman. Led by the vision and support of the Board of Trustees, Galen's academic performance thrives under the resolute and visionary leadership of our dear Provost. It is therefore my pleasure to call on one of Belize's most dynamic 
and progressive pillars in higher education. Our provost, Dr. Cynthia Eve, aired for her remarks. Good morning. Protocol having been established, allow me to especially recognize a few groups of people. First, our graduates who have dedicated the last two to three years of their lives, overcoming several obstacles to achieve their degrees today. Know that we are very proud of you and your achievement. Allow me to especially recognize our valedictorian, Kenya Colliard, who is currently pursuing a master's degree in education on a scholarship in Taiwan, and Ms. Joanne Cantun, our salutatorian. Kenya earned a CGPA of 3.945, and Joanne followed very closely with a GPA of 3.910. The Galen University faculty and staff, whose commitment to Galen is unparalleled, unparalleled and even more so since mid-March when the COVID-19 pandemic entered our shores. I must also recognize the chairman and members of the board of directors who had the vision of a private university serving Belize and the courage and commitment to invest in that vision and who continue to nurture that vision and develop our university. The chairman and members of the board of trustees who are completely invested in the development of our mission of a Belizean university that is internationally recognized with a global reach offering relevant, innovative, and transformational programs that contribute to achieving the goals of sustainable development. And Don Hector Silva, Jr., who will be honored today in a very special way. I also wish to recognize all frontline workers who have borne the brunt of the battle against COVID-19 on our behalf. Many of these frontline workers are currently enrolled at Galen or are graduates of, the, of Galen University, or have graduated from Galen University. We pray for a full recovery for Dr. Manzanero and thank him for his selfless service during this pandemic. We pray for the Honorable Minister Shabbat and Dr. Melissa Diaz Musa, the Acting Director of Health Services, and all healthcare workers. Commissioner Williams, members of the police force and the BDF, that they may be protected against the virus, and we thank them for their leadership and service to Belize as they lead the charge against COVID-19. Despite the challenges of this year, the 2019-2020 academic year has been an incredible period of growth and innovation for us. First, I'm very proud to announce that several of our recent graduates got scholarships to study in Taiwan and are presently there pursuing their graduate degrees. And last year's top student and one other were awarded Chevening scholarships and are now enrolled in UK universities studying. And of course, we are very proud, although we are sad to have lost them, that Dr. Osman Martinez and Dr. Kenrick Williams are now working with the government of Belize as chief executive officers in their respective ministries. We also recognize and are proud that one of our graduates, Marconi Leal, is also a, C I'm a chief executive officer in a ministry. In September, we introduced our bachelor's degree in secondary education with teaching concentrations in English, math, physics and science, business, computer sciences, and Belizean studies, social studies. In January, at the request of the Ministry of Education, we introduced several diploma programs in secondary education, both in pedagogy as well as in the content areas. And we admitted 41 students to this program under a special financing arrangement with the Ministry of Education in which Galen University awarded one third scholarship to each of the students enrolled in the program. We are proud to say that the, both the diploma and the bachelor's degree program were recently successfully reviewed by the, ministry, by the Board of Teacher Education. In the summer, we were invited by the Ministry of Education 
to submit a proposal to offer a certificate in educational leadership for high school principals, vice principals, department heads, and teachers who aspire to leadership positions within the secondary school system. This program was ac accepted, and we anticipate a January enrollment of approximately 30 students. On March 1st, we formally created our Office of Quality Assurance and appointed Dr. Angel Cal to, le to, to lead it. Dr. Cal is charged with working along with my office in developing and implementing Galen's robust internal quality assurance protocol. Through the work of, the, of Dr. Cal and the team at Galen, we will achieve full institutional accreditation by 2025. On March 10th, we made the difficult decision to convert all of our courses at the Central Farm Campus to an online format in response to the emer emerging COVID-19 threat. And on March 20th, we closed our Central Farm Campus and all district centers with the exception of the Belize City Center. With no disruption to our academic calendar, other than to uh, postpone the ex graduation exercises to today, or any of our services to our students and larger stakeholders, Galen has been operating completely as a virtual university with administrators, faculty and staff performing their respective duties from their homes, connecting several times weekly using WhatsApp, Google Meets and